Hello Clever Pickles, welcome to today's handwriting lesson. We are doing the letter E today. So let's start with a warm up by writing the long date. I make up the date that I do. So today I'm going to pretend it is Monday. So whatever the long date is for you, that's what you should be practicing. If you're not sure what the date is, check around the room, look at the calendar. Is it written on a board nearby? And write down the long date. This is a good way to warm up my hand and make sure I'm sitting the right way. Make sure the book is not too far away from me. If the book is too far away from me, I might be hurting my neck. And make sure when you write your numbers, you are touching that top dotted line. Make sure your capitals are also touching that top dotted line. And oh, oh my gosh, I nearly went wrote 2000 and something. I'm just going to put a cross on that and fix that. Oh, flashback. Some of you probably weren't even born then. Okay, let's go with capital E. Capital E begins with the downward stroke that we have practiced in all sorts of letters. We start going down for B. We start going down for H. We start going down for L, for T. There are lots of letters that use this and there's no reason by now you shouldn't feel confident to start here at this top dotted line and come down to the bottom straight line without worrying about it. You don't need to push really hard and go slow. Okay, when we finish off our E, we come up to the top dotted line and we're going to do three lines. One here, one across the middle here, and one across the bottom. Now, when we do these, we've seen these in different kinds of fonts where they look uh, a bit different and they don't need to be different. They're all equal lines. So E across the top, E across the middle, E across the bottom. So I know in, in lots of typing, you might see where the E has a big top, a little middle, and a big bottom like that. This is not how we do this uh, accurately when we're focusing on our letter formation. This is fine if you're doing fancy writing or a special title, um, or it might even play into you know your descriptive writing or poetry or something like that. But today for our handwriting, we are learning formation. Let's make sure we're doing it accurately. So top dotted line, straight down to the bottom, come back to the dotted line and line across. Middle line, line across, bottom line line across. See how they're all even? Good. Let's go for the next one. Line straight down, line across the top, line across the middle, line across the bottom. Now if you don't quite get those even, like this for example, if you do end up doing this, don't worry about going back and then trying to add on to the end because it will just end up making it messier and you're adding to something unnecessarily. Just put across if you don't like it, move on to the next one and then let's try and do it accurately. E, line across the top, line across the middle, line across the bottom. Beautiful. You might need to even move your hand down a little bit as you do this. So you might find it hard for your, if you've got your pencil here and you're moving your pencil down and you find it's pulling on the back of your hand here and it hurts and you can't do it properly, just shift your hand down a little bit to do that. Okay, that's our capital E's, one, two, three, four, five, six. We only need six. Let's move to lower KC. Lower KC stays inside these straight lines, so we're not going up to the top here, we're not going down to the bottom here. We start in this imaginary spot in the middle, imagine there's a middle here, and you put your pencil down and we're going to loop around and come back and curve at the bottom for the bottom part of our E. So we start here in the middle, loop around and come back down. So this shape that curves around the edge here is almost like a C. We're looping up and then completing what could be a C. So start in the middle, loop up and touch that top dotted line, come back and curve it round for the bottom. Don't start too high because then your E ends up like this and we can't really see that properly and it could accidentally look like a C. Don't start too far down though because if we start too far down and loop around our tail, that might accidentally look like an O. Try and stay halfway in the middle, curve it round to the top and back down. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's try one more. Starting in this imaginary middle spot, curve it up and around and down. Beautiful. Okay, let's do some words that have the letter E at the beginning of the word. Let's start with egg. I love the word egg because it's my son's nickname. 
we call him Egg. Now when you do your double G, remember keep that tail the same for each one. Okay, finger space and then we're going to do Exit. Feel free to watch me first and then you can do yours. You can press pause and do your one. Exit. Okay, next word after a finger space is empty. Empty. The drink was empty. Now a lot of these letters are going to go down or up. So we've got our P that goes down, our T that goes up, and then our Y that comes down to that dotted line. So the P should come down as far as that Y. Okay, let's put E in the middle of some words, and there's lots of words that have double E's. So let's use that as good practice. Meat. And I said double E, so it's not the meat that can be eaten, it's meat like you meet a new friend, meet a new person. Meat. Um, now you can see it, my E quite didn't touch properly here in the middle. That's okay, I'm going to keep practicing. Next one is green. So our green comes down, touches that bottom line, R, and then our double E. So I'm going to try and keep my E's the same. Start in the middle, curve it round, back down. Start in the middle, curve it round, back down. That was much better. Green. Okay, our next word is eyes. So it's not double E, but there is two E's in this. So E, our Y has a tail that comes down. I'm going to take a breath, put my pencil in the middle here, curve up and down, back around. Much better. Eyes. Okay, if you're still catching up, you can press pause. When you're ready, press play and join us for some drawing. We're going to use a lowercase e today, e, and I'd like you to really space these ones out. E, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to turn this into an eye. So I'm going to use a darker pencil here to put, oh, I always forget that that's not black. Oh my gosh, I'll go back to my lead pencil. So I'm going to color this in for the pupil of the eye here. And what I'm going to do now is, oh, I will use, hmm, I'll use green. Sometimes my eyes are green. And I'm going to color around the outside of this. Outside to make it a green eye green eye. So that white bit that I've left there in the tail is meant to look like a reflection. Let's see if it actually looks like that. So you could use a whole bunch of different colors. Maybe you have brown eyes or blue eyes and you would like to use that color. Or maybe you just want to use a random color like red eyes. Okay, I'm going to go back to my lead pencil now and I'm going to try and do an outline for my eye. Oh, it's kind of working. You might want to use a black pencil instead of your lead pencil for the outside of your eye. And I'm going to give it some eyelashes. And I'm going to go opposite ways for my eyelashes so they look like they're together. Oh, that way. If you are much better at drawing eyes than me, then I hope you use a better design. Okay, I hope you liked doing the letter E today. See you in the next handwriting lesson.